Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. And I know those snow tires came in handy this morning. A lot of us just got a nice little dusting sprinkle of snow. Yeah, it's going to be washed away, unfortunately. But you know what else is going to be washed away? That dirt and the salt that's all over the roads mm, right now. My yeah. car looks pretty gross right yeah, now. I don't know about too. yours. <laughs> so yeah, the rain, not all bad, but certainly could use a little bit more snow, especially for those ski resorts. Let's show you how much snow we got this morning. Top totals coming in just above three inches there in Olmsteadville, New York, and also Perkinsville, Vermont. We have two and a half inches in Saranac Lake, just under that in Wilmington, two inches in Malone, just over two inches in South Burlington and about an inch and a half in St. Johnsbury. So certainly not a big event, but it was timed pretty poorly there with the morning commute. Now the snow has moved out. We're not really seeing anything falling on storm track or across the region, but just off to the west. Here comes that next round of rain we've been talking about, and some of this will be freezing rain, especially for parts of the St. Lawrence Valley and locations east of the Green Mountains. Then we've got another round to deal with on Friday. You see even more rain near the Gulf Coast. All of that is coming north and that will work to bring in our second round of rain Friday morning. So let's take you through the next couple of days on Futurecast. The good news for the Champlain Valley is that temperatures have risen above freezing and I think they'll stay there for the rest of this evening. So as this next round of rain moves in, don't think we see any icing concerns in the Champlain Valley and really the entirety of the Route 7 corridor down to Bennington free from the ice. But you see the pink shading along and east of the Green Mountains, also up by Messina and note that temperature of 28 That'll certainly cause some problems on the roadways because temperatures really won't warm up in the uh, St. Lawrence Valley as we head into this evening. And then overnight, I think more of the warm air starts to get involved. So just about everybody has a plain cold rain for Thursday morning very early. But you see most of Thursday actually looking pretty good, just overcast. Maybe some lingering drizzle, but not expecting many issues on the roads there. 44 in Brattleboro, 41 in Bennington. Could be in the 40s tomorrow afternoon in southern Vermont. And then things cool back down just a little bit more Friday morning. So again, with this next round, the same spots will be problems, especially along and east of the Green Mountains. You see most of us in the Champlain Valley Friday morning just above that freezing mark. So kind of a nasty couple of days. Just a few lingering showers there Friday evening. Let's go through where there could be some some problems with travel and that's where you see the pink shading here. Want to zoom in a little closer and give you an idea that the St. Lawrence Valley tonight could be problem, especially near Messina in Potsdam. A quarter of an inch of ice is possible, which could cause some isolated power outages on top of the glazy uh, or icy roads, I should say. Little glaze of ice possible in uh, Essex County in New York. Same thing for most of eastern Vermont into the upper valley. A light glaze of ice. I don't think there's many power outages with this, but just keep in mind, even if you're going up Route 100 tomorrow morning, there could be some slippery spots. Let's take you through Friday morning. This is the second round. Round. If I had to say one thing that's different about this round, it's that places up in the St. Lawrence Valley won't be as quite as impacted by this one on Friday morning. Maybe a little glaze there, but you see along and east of the Green Mountains, same thing with that glaze of ice all the way into southern Vermont, Killington, Ludlow, Wardsboro, Wilmington, seeing those slippery spots. That's Friday morning. So two rounds of rain and freezing rain are on the way later tonight and then later Thursday night into Friday morning. You'll see though in the Champlain Valley with temperatures near 40, we're just not expected to have many problems with that. Saturday is looking pretty good. And then we're watching another storm potential for Sunday. Right now, looks like most of it wants to go south into southern New England. Regardless of what happens, it gets colder after that for next week. Temperatures in the teens next Monday. Lauren?